I'm Jason Norris. Thanks for listening to another episode of On The Go FM. I like to talk about what you can do with a podcast, exploring ways to make your message mobile. Teaching, training, telling stories, and changing lives. You can do it all with a podcast. Is your church podcasting yet? Whether you make sermon podcasts or have never heard of podcasting, stay tuned. This episode is an introduction to podcast ministry. I'll give you an overview of how podcasting can help your church overcome problems like the lack of engagement from church members. We'll also talk about how podcasting can help with teacher training and ministry training of all kinds. Podcast ministry has the potential to keep your church members engaged like nothing else and can extend your teaching and ministry training in ways you've never thought about before. I promise you. Together, you and I will explore what is possible in your church. But before all of that, let's take a moment to look at your church. Have you ever calculated the actual time you spend preaching and teaching? As a preacher, you have more time to speak to your members than your Sunday school or Bible study teachers. You might limit your preaching time on purpose to like 20 minutes or so, or you might take 45 minutes per sermon or more. But no matter how long you actually talk during your Sunday sermon, that's less than one hour a week in the lives of everyone who hears you. And that's assuming they attend church every single week. There's been talk recently that even the most committed of church members are attending less often than they did several years ago. We can explore the specific research later, but the point I want to make right now is that your specific influence with your words is very small in comparison to other voices in the lives of your church members. A podcast ministry can change that. As church members can choose to listen to your sermon or Bible study when and where it's convenient for them, they are more likely to be engaged with your church. And certainly a podcast ministry can be a blessing to those who are sick or in the hospital or unable to get out of the house to make it to the church building. But a podcast ministry can go far beyond that kind of ministry. It's also available to the overworked, overtired, overwhelmed couples and single parents of babies and toddlers. During that season of life, parents have to be more selective about getting back out after a long day. And what happens when someone's work changes and they're required to be in the office or on the road during times you gather to preach and teach? In the past, it was easy for church members in those situations to slip away. They get busy and overwhelmed and the church is often unable to keep track of everybody. After a while, people get caught and lost in the business of life. With a podcast ministry, even the busiest of church members can keep up with what's going on at church. They can continue to hear inspiring, comforting, and challenging messages from the pulpit and from the Bible study. During those times that they're unable to attend church, they can still stay engaged with your church through podcasts. A podcast ministry can also help your teachers. How often have people been quickly recruited to fulfill that awesome responsibility of teaching your children, the teenagers, or even the adults in your church? I've seen and talked with a lot of Sunday school teachers most do not receive any kind of teacher training. No matter what you teach or who you teach, there are certain principles of teaching and managing a classroom that new teachers need to learn. It's a disservice to them to make them try to figure it all out on their own. Teachers need teachers to teach them how to teach. And that's where a podcast ministry can help. New teachers can listen to training on the go. They can listen to experienced teachers offering insights and advice on how to prepare to teach, how to actually teach during class time, how to handle questions, and how to follow up with their learners after. 
And it doesn't stop with teaching teachers. Do people participate in other ministries in your church and could benefit from some education and encouragement? You can make a podcast for them, too. They can listen and learn on the go when and where it's most convenient for them. I would like to hear from you. Do you already have a podcast ministry? If so, tell me about it. Download the free guide and see if there is an idea for a podcast ministry you haven't tried yet. And if you need help with any of it, I'm here to talk you through it. And if a podcast ministry is all new to you, but this episode has piqued your interest, I especially want to hear from you. A sermon podcast is often the easiest way to get started, but there are many other ways. I want to help you. I'm a podcast consultant, podcast editor, and I love talking about different ways that you can make your message mobile with a podcast. I'm Jason Norris, and thanks for listening to On The Go FM.